Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity. First of all today I'd just like to thank everyone very much for your very kind and generous feedback on the Tuesday tutorial. So this morning I'm here with a super quick KS Craft project share and I've selected to use two sets of dies. The first one is this one and I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Now I'm somebody, I like intricate dies but when I get my hands on them I tend not to use paper. I'll use Dollar Tree foam or I'll use clay, you know the paper clay that you can roll out and then I'll use this as a template and just squish it into the clay and I'm quite happy to make a tile or a pot to go in my garden. So anyway, restraining myself from doing anything like that, I just used Dollar Tree foam board and some Distress Ink and that's what I made. Now I can, at night, when the sun stops shining, put some UV resin on that and I'm going to have a fabulous tile to put on my table for my coffee cup. Isn't that gorgeous? That's five and a half inches square. I just really love that. And I've got a lot of dark wood in my house. So that kind of, I'd call it an Indian summer kind of colour. Um, goes quite well with the kind of stuff that I have. And next up, I did a planner pocket. This is absolutely gorgeous this one is a nicole design and it comes with two sets of stitching and it also comes with four little labels you know like the labels you get stitched at the top of a, a pocket on the backs of jeans so i already measured this um, and i will link that haul video below again if you want to see the measurements but here's what i made I'm going to lay it down so that it all fits in and I used denim paper, denim effect print paper. There's one of those labels there. I actually decided to tuck mine in so that it looked like a, a jean pocket label and I've got the XOXO there cut in copper foil cardstock. I used two of my purse clip brads. These are really cool and I don't know if you can see down inside of there but they are quite literally brads and they come with a washer so that they don't tear back out of the paper again. Now one side of the cardstock is a distressed effect and one other side of this cardstock is like a regular clean wash denim so I kind of like combine the two and I just love the scratchy bits in it. There I've used one of the sets of stitching towards the bottom of the pocket and you just lay the strip over which is this piece here once you've cut the pocket out to get those lovely stitches there but you can hang your pen on it so what an absolutely awesome front cover for a mini album. It doesn't just have to be for a planner. I just absolutely love that. I mean, you know me, I just love all my details and I love stitching. So for me, that is gorgeous. And uh, it would also make a great mini album just by scoring here. I think this is a half inch um, coming across the die for that section. Yes, it is. So you could put this on your scoreboard, score down that half inch and then fold it so that you're using this section as the hinge for your mini book so it doesn't have to be all complicated on you. So those are my super quick project shares for today. And oh, and I put this on here as well because I was thinking I bought this patch in the sale at Christmas and I really, really like it because I like bulldoggies. And I was thinking that if you wanted to, and this was the front of a mini album, if you had like a real fabric patch, you could glue it on and it would look, you know, seriously funky and cool. So that was just another idea. 
anyway, I'm digressing and uh, I'm off back out into my garden. You have a fabulous day as usual. All links below and I'll be up tomorrow with some super cute MX art. Bye.